Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Byronic, and today we are playing some more Starbound. Last time, we finished making our bow and crafting our first alien meat. So right now, what I, uh, well, what our quest is, is to make a furnace. And uh, let's go ahead and look. Do we have the materials? Whoops, I gotta use this. So let's take a look. What can I make? No, I do not. I need more cobblestone and a campfire. So let's go ahead and start mining. I haven't been this way yet. So let's check this out. I, I actually have some access to some quick, quick iron and coal right here. So let's snag some of that. I forgot that, um, the, uh, what's it called? The furnace only needs cobblestone. I was kind of thinking that it actually needed, uh, Ooh, look, I'm getting pretty hungry. Let's go ahead and eat some food real quick after I finish farming this stuff. Because this, this right here should be enough for my uh, for my furnace. So let's eat some alien meat. Nom, nom, nom. Mm, I am full. Man, look at those brains down there. It's fucking ridiculous, man. Look at that stuff. That's crazy. All right, cool. So let's head back and quickly make our furnace. Actually, you know what? I can start hunting for some alien meat now, actually. But first, first things first, did I skip it? I need a campfire. Right, 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 right. Okay, campfire. There we go. Stone furnace. Very nice. Awesome. It's about time we play with fire. Next, we need to get you some armor. Working with metal requires an anvil, but before we can craft one, you'll need to smelt or melt some iron ore. Obtain two iron ore and smelt it in the furnace to obtain an iron bar. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and put you down. Now, first, before we do that, I want to make a bed. Where's my bed? Wooden bed. All right, so what the bed lets me do is, as I talked about before, the... Um, uh, when you use a bandage, it gives you health well. When you click this, it actually slowly regenerates your health. Not nearly as fast as bandages, but, um, you know, actually talking about bandages, let's go ahead and make all of the bandages we can. 18, nice. So let's do that, and while we're still regening health, let's move some of these inventory items over. Uh, you know, actually, we probably don't need to do that just yet because we do have our furnace. So let's go ahead and smelt everything we got. We got seven iron ore, or silver, excuse me. And I'm gonna organize this stuff over here. See, they got the bars and that. This is my not so rare material. I'm gonna put all my rare materials over here and my uh, commons over there. I'll move you over there. There we go. Just kind of organizing that stuff while we go. Is that the only thing I have? Oh no, no I did have some um, some copper and some coal. Now coal cannot be smelted in the stone furnace, I believe. Um. I mean, I've tried and I can't. You can use it for coal, uh, fuel in your ship, though. So for now, I'm going to leave that there next to the unrefined wood. Now, in the latest patch, you can use 10 unrefined wood to make coal, which in essence is pretty much charcoal, um, which works fine. It will be the exact same as anything else, which is, which is okay, but to farm that much is actually quite a bit. That ratio of 10 to 1, I'm not sure how good that really is, but whatever. All right. Good job! You need a whole bunch of iron bars to craft an anvil. Your ship's engines uh, isn't yet strong enough to take you beyond the Alpha Sector. Create a distress beacon and maybe you'll be able to make contact with a larger ship. Make sure you're ready for anything before you do that. So, um, I'm not going to make it just yet. The, re the, the rem Like as I said before, this is as far as I've gotten. I haven't made it yet to... Um, what am I doing? I need to make an anvil. But the distress beacon, let me uh, let me find it real quick. I think, yeah, here it is. So you need a bunch of more pixels. I need copper and I need wood. Actually, you know what? I have almost all the materials, but I'm not going to do that yet until I make a full set of armor. So let's craft that anvil. I'm going to put the anvil right there. It's kind of weird to have all this stuff here, but uh, that's, that's fine. Uh, let me see. It's the scythe. It's a two-handed weapon. Compared to this, it is much better, actually. Um, I'm kind of curious on what... I think I want to go, like, a just... Can I dual-wield one-handed weapons? Can I do that? Because if I could, I would totally do that. But I can only make one of these right now. So I'm going to stick with just a two-handed weapon if I can. Swashbuckler. But that is four damage. DPS six. 
At least one-handed literally is better in every way. Swashbuckler light. Yeah, let's, um, but actually, you know what? But we, we can't do that. We need to make armor first. So, what I need to do is before I can, let me see, puddle, chest guard, hmm. Copper greaves. Okay, so, as you can see here, the puddle stuff, this is the stuff that requires iron. But it requires the previous version first to make it. So, we're going to need a lot more copper to make all this. In total, we need 12, 20, 35, and, uh, wait, is that it? Just those three pieces? Yeah, okay, just those three pieces. So that that's that's about that's about what we need, probably about 70 to 80. So um, anyways, what I'm going to do now is start exploring. <laughs> I know, crazy, right? Um, yeah, let's, 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 let's do that. I need to get some meat. I really don't have any, uh, which is kind of annoying. Actually, can I craft? Is that something? What is this? Toxic top seed. What the fuck is that? Toxic, but also top. <laughs> Whatever. I, maybe I use that to... Um, ooh, that guy down there. Um, I make that into some... Shit. Oh, come on. <laughs> maybe I could turn it into a bomb or something. Whoops. So, when you see my bow and arrow light up, that's when you want to fire it because that makes it into, like, a super shot. It hits really hard. And, um... Yeah, it hits like twice as hard. I can show you the damage later with that stuff. But uh, eventually what I'm going to do to get the materials that I need, I'm going to be digging a hole in my base. Because my base is going to be an underground base, which is what I want. So I need this copper. That's what we're looking for mostly right now. And there is some silver down there. Always want to get that silver. I heard you, monster. You can't hide from me. Ooh, what is this? Is that... What is this? <gasps> Fuck, it's poison! Shit! How was I supposed to know? God damn it. Okay, well. Shit, how long is this poison supposed to go for? Oh shit, look at this. On my bar, I'm gonna use a bandage. Note to self, don't jump in toxic waste. Maybe these guys will damage themselves in it. <gasps> no. He did get damaged in it. Okay, actually, you know what? That's great. I am not going to cover this completely up because I can use it to kite against certain enemies, maybe. So, oh, we shit. No, no, no. What is that? I hate birds in this game. Shit, what the fuck was that, man? Oh, no, 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 no. No, come on. What am I doing? Woo. Oh, got some meat. Nice. That's what I wanted. Gotta be the jumping all-star in this game. Okay, what is this down there? I can't really see from here. Uh, I see iron. And some coal. Let's, uh, let's dig a little bit down in here. And basically, what I want to do right now is I'm just going to start scavenging for general materials. Um, you do get more stuff if you go further into the ground. Um, but... I'm not really set up to do that just yet. I'm just going to get some uh, surface topical materials, which would be cool. Oh, come on, you son of a bitch. There we go. All right. Let's equip ourselves with our trusty bow and arrow. And just keep going. Ooh, there's some copper. So let us... Ooh, no, no, there we go. What I need to find is a big, big vein of copper. That would be awesome. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> I think I found access to a tunnel. Nice. See, this is why I don't pause during times like uh, like this. Just because you could find things like this, you know. And I know this might be a little bit boring, but um, I think this is this is part of the fun is going from point A to point B with you know with me. It'd be kind of cool. So I'm gonna. Oop. Oh, I see you, fucker. I can't see you anymore, though. Oop. <laughs> I don't have any torches right now. I'm gonna have to get some more. But, uh. I do need plenty. I tell you, plenty of bandages. <laughs> May as well start getting them now, right? I mean, I don't really need the plant fiber for anything else. Can I reach that? Yes, I can. Perfect. 
There we go. Whatever. I don't really need too, too much. Ooh, ooh. We, this is looking like an interesting cave. There was some copper down there at the bottom. So let's go for that. Um, oh, shit. What the fuck? Where'd you come from, man? No, 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 no. Did not mean to do that. No, no. Where's my weapon? Break you shits. What? No. No. Shit. I can't see anything in here, guys. Um, am I good? <gasps> Woo! That was pretty scary. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's, uh, dig up here so I can have some nice footing to be on. Um, if you can tell me how to hold, like, I heard that you can hold the, uh, an item with your flashlight at the same time. Um, I, I, I'm not figured out how. Like, that would be really nifty if I could do that. Uh, Really, really freaking nifty, man. Let's get that last item. All right, cool. So let me check down here. There's anything? No, it does not look like it. But there is this area down here. Um, it was really damn dark. Okay, not not too too much left. So this cave was uh, was okay. Got a lot of plant fiber. Um, let's see. Can I get out of here? <gasps> nope. No, nope, I cannot. All right, that's fine. That's why you hold on to extra material like this. And I'm going to take back my torches because I don't have many. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. I'm going to come back here. Climb up. There we go. Grab my other torch. Whoop. There we do it. Now, a lot, a lot of the time, and this is what I do in most survival games like this where you get uh, caves, especially procedurally generated games, um, I will block off the top, and I'll know because it's just in proximity to where my other base is. Wow, look at all this, like, poisonous shit, dude. I've never seen this before. See, that's what I'm talking about. There's so much in this game that I haven't seen. It's pretty crazy. Um, I'm gonna grab this silver ore. Looks like we've got... Oh, yes, we found a... No oh, wow. Okay, I was gonna say that was a big one, but it's... I mean, it's, it's nice. I'm not gonna knock it. I can probably already make a piece of armor now. At least one. Um, so let's, uh, I don't want to go back just yet because I don't, I mean, I want to collect some more materials and then we'll head out. Looks like there's a nice amount of coal on the other side of that, um, come on, on the other side of that poison pit. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, that's actually coal right on the surface? That's odd. Okay. So let's, um, before we go past that, oh, look at all that poison, damn. Okay, that works. Let's grab this. I was I've been so excited to start playing Starbound, but I haven't just because of the uh, the the initial character wipes. Now I I expect to character wipe eventually while I'm doing this, and that's gonna suck. But you know what? That's the nature of early beta. Um. Oh shit. And and so I mean I I'm okay with that, but I wanted to at least start fresh from you know right now onto that point because I knew it was coming you know if I'm gonna if I know it's coming then I may as well just wait a little bit Doesn't look like there's anything up here no look at that deep poison pit damn all right um let's keep going I just got our buddies down here that sound like they're evil but they're not really okay uh, there's not really too too many materials in here I mean I'm gonna save this cave for later um, just because it has so many of these vines. I don't want to pick them just yet, just because, I mean, that's, that's a lot. Oh, shit, where did these fuckers come from? Get back, you monster! <gasps> no, I didn't mean hit you! I'm sorry! Whoop. What? Why is that hitting you? Yeah. <gasps> no. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah! Alright, cool. So we got some meat, and we got some, uh, cloth material. That's great. Um, I can't really tell what time it is in game right now. It looks like it's getting into late afternoon. Um, let's. Uh, that should be good. I'm kind of nervous about mining this material right here because it's like I'm right next to the poison pit, <laughs> and that's the last thing that I want. Oh no, bird! Get back, you shit! No, <gasps> shit! You son of a bitch! <gasps> no, no, no! That's really air. I air. Okay, well, I have the little protection. From in here. Alright, let's be... Oh, no, it's getting dark. 
it's getting dark. See that meter at the bottom? That means, I mean, that's your uh, your heat meter. And I've, I've never got it to the bottom, but I'm pretty sure if it gets to the bottom, either you die or um, you, you start taking damage until you die. So, there we go. Right, let's get back to our base real quick. God, look at all these dudes. <gasps> no, 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 I didn't mean to hit you guys. I didn't mean to hit you both. Whoops. No, no, no. Shit, I'm taking a ton of damage. Way too much damage. Alright, you know what? Because I'm taking so much damage, I'm just gonna puss out. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and eat some. Head back to our base. And, uh, sweet. We are back. Home sweet home. Um, you know what? Before we start crafting, I'm just gonna go ahead and call this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. My name is Byronic, and that is it.